you thought you got rid of me. Happy Sunday. Mmm. Mm. Rusty T, what is it about it? Or if you are Canadian, what is it about it? Or if you're Russian, Stoy atupai atumu pui voitoji shoi devoi. Or, uh, wait a minute, let me check that out. So we were at war with Korea. We're just skipping right through that to the Rusty Report. We have broken news. We are at war with Korea, all of Korea. There are reports of them flooding through our southern border in the unslotted areas. The summit was a bust, but you gotta walk. But Chairman Un's only power he wields is through his nukes, people. He is not giving them up there his balls. Individual one thinks he can sneak in there like Tom Brady with the needle and just deflate Un's nuclear football. Play cheater ball. Cheater ball on his lover, his lover with nukes. No. I don't want to talk about any of that. None of that. Okay, Jeff Bezos. I've been raging on this guy and his fight with uh, David Pecker and the Sandman MAGA hat kid too, right? Is suing Bezos for $250 million because his Washington Post said the kid was sniggering at the Native American guy breaking up the tense situation, right? And Bezos, Bezos bought the WAPO for $250 million. Coincidence? Which was genius, great deal. This is the paper that took Nixon down, please. Worth 350 easy. Okay, I did some more research. And this Bezos, I'm taking a shot, is cool. A living legend. He is the richest person in modern history officially. This is why he is not liked, especially by the current administration at all. But still he perseveres. Now he owns Amazon, the main business, which started out as an online bookstore. That is where this guy started. He's a fellow bookaholic sweet, which brings us to my brows at South Congress Bookstore, one of my favorite places. I can get lost in that amazing real bookstore and my dog, Willie, too. He is their mascot on Facebook. Here's a signed old yeller that I got at South Congress Bookstore. I'm going to show you some of my books. I'm taking a little Sunday break. This is signed by Fred Gibson. I'm going to put that over here. Where it's safe. I have a 19, this is about a 1923 edition of Huckleberry Finn. I took a liking to very nice etchings. And the literature is LOL funny, seriously at the dog park and this is i think a 1921 illustrated yes the whale there she blows they call me ishmael or ahab or whoever but the whale book look at the photos this is like 1921 or something let me show you there's color prints type set is incredible Look, here, let me get this out of the way. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just very excited. I'm a bookaholic too. Amazon was started as a book company, so I've done a little more research. This South Congress bookstore, by the way, I just picked up uh, Breakfast of Champions, 1973 first edition, Kurt. And uh, so I highly recommend this store. Um, but I'm a bookaholic. I got this off of eBay. This is uh, was published in England, not in America. They did America didn't want to publish this. It's got a nice little signed by the author. Okay, I'm gonna put that over here with my treasured items. Got this outlaw journalist book here. Okay. 
It says I have a low battery here. I just had to press that. I was just showing a few things I got over there. The, this is the autobiography of Mark Twain he wrote that would only be released 75 years after he died. And they just released that. And I've got the first two of those and I'm waiting on the third. Sam, Samuel, because he rails the truth from the man who saw. He saw like a saw, saw he sawing a tree limb or whatever. I've got it over here. But anyway, you don't pilot Mississippi River boats through foggy swamp water at the dead of night without being a man of exceeding confidence and knowledge of the actual world that exists around him, which is what Mark Twain was. Check him out. That's book stuff for today. By the way, why does not... <clears throat> I've been enjoying the last few S. Ampersand L's, but put a crawl below their news parody show. They have been improving. They have been taking on an Esther's Follies flair lately that is much appreciated with songs and parodies. And, but the news update, the show, a few notes for uh, Jost and Che, uh, not performance, that is fine. Keep doing what y'all are doing. But the look, the crawl first, that's like another two, three dozen. Man, my voice is going, sorry. It's been foggy and misty, and I drove out to Lago Vista for Elvis's 90th birthday yesterday. Uh, okay, the crawl, there's like another two, three dozen joke possibilities. Hell, I'll write them myself as NL. I want your news to look like the news, okay? Not like Chevy Chase in 1976. Put an SNL news stamp in the corner. And our breaking news Chiron here above with the crawl and a big city background and a couple eagles going on or something and wear the purple ties with the pink accents and all that stuff. But make it funny. Talk with people in other cities where you're here and they're over here and they're not sitting you next to you every time. Just like on the original occasionally or the your name or your guest name might pop up here. So they know and they get the cameras closer to the anchors like CNN. Okay, SNL, put on the purple pink ties and have handsome Eric Swalwell. It's useless. Never mind. They never see this or like this or use my ideas. I'm going to end because I've lost my voice. I got these rock pins from Mauricio. They are absolutely beautiful. Rockin' Pins. Rockinpins.com, Mauricio. They are absolutely... Let me... Here is the detail, the level of detail, if you can see this. On these ceramic painted pins is absolutely... Un spect it, it is spectacularly unbelievable. And he sent me an entire lineup... Look at that Bobby there. I'm trying to find the Dale, but as I dig through, you can see if you check out this rocket, rockinpins.com with these ceramic pins, they are amazing. Oh, look, I'm going to take this one out. I'm losing my voice because we have had all of this uh, traveling through the wildflowers, but look. I'm going to show you. Hello? I cut your head. Okay, see? The level of detail is magnificent. I can't, it's hard to get to focus, but you can see the belt, the wristwatch. You can see the shading on the glasses and everything. It's much more close to the original than my voice is right now. I'm losing it. Thank you. Happy Sunday.